It's not quite superhero status, but you can become your family's expert on emergency preparedness. We're here to break down the barriers and demystify preparedness. Barrier one, it costs too much. Preparedness does not have to be a costly activity. Grab an empty tote and hunt through your home. You already have many items you need to build your emergency kit and get prepared. Get organized by creating a household plan and compiling a kit. You may need to add a few canned food items and more water, but you'll be surprised how many items you already have. One, water. Four liters of water per person per day. Two liters for drinking and two liters for hygiene. Remember to include water for pets. Two, food. Set aside food that won't spoil. Things like canned food, energy bars, and dried fruits. Rotate once a year before they expire. Pick up extra items when they're on sale. Remember a can opener. Three, flashlight and radio. Radios and flashlights are essential. Remember batteries. Four, first aid kit. Make your own or buy one. Keep it with your other emergency supplies. Five, special items. Include prescription medications, infant formula, pet food and items for people with unique needs. Six, whistle to signal for help. Seven, blankets. Sleeping bags or Mylar blankets are also great to keep you warm. Other essential items, cash and smaller bills, coins, toiletries, and a phone charger. Assemble your supplies and family emergency plan. And that includes out of area contact information and a family reunification plan. Ensure you have two meeting areas, one outside your home and one outside your community. Store supplies in a suitable container. We recommend Sanit residents are prepared to be self-sufficient for a minimum of seven days. Barrier two, I don't have time. Turn routine tasks into preparedness habits. Think of preparing as a routine household activity rather than a one-time task. When grocery shopping, pick up extra food items when they're on sale. Add them to your kit. After the last camping trip of the summer, supplement your vehicle kit with sleeping bags. Thanksgiving Day can be your reminder to refresh the water you have stored and time this task for when you need to use water, such as a large outdoor event or camping to reduce waste. Dad's birthday can be the time when medications come out of the kits and are put into circulation in the medicine cabinet. Barrier three, where do I put everything? Small living space, no problem. Get creative and organized. Look for space that is underutilized and maximize it, which may require decluttering and repurposing space. Consider emptying a drawer or cabinet of items that you rarely use and put them away in a bin that can slide under a bed or sofa. Instead of tucking a kit away, create a kit that is part of your regular household routine and fill with items you use on a consistent basis, such as batteries, first aid kit, and flashlight. There is great benefit to frequent access of your kit, as this ensures familiarity and constant cycling of items. Use traditional furniture in non-traditional ways, such as a hope chest or large ottoman doubling as your kit. Visit sandwich.ca forward slash prepare for more ways to break down barriers to preparedness and to become your own expert. Preparedness. You got this.